Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where... Oh! Prevert again. Get out of here, you asshole. Oh, yeah, you asshole. Let's go drown the fucker, big bird. Yes, Stanley, that's what we'll do. Drown the fucker. Sir, you guys know where I could find the. Listen, all of you thought we'd make a fortune on edible swimwear, too. They sell like condoms in Europe. But you say they make big bags. Marketing plans, by their nature, have a small risk. Smarter, Don't get on that. Rita's case. You're the one that left the edible bikinis in the beach shack where they all melted. Jesus. Yeah. You, you should have majored in ventilation, Melissa. But the point is that we're broke. And you're the one that... What's your problem, buddy? Excuse me, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm Jack McGowan. <clears throat> and I'm taking over my uncle's car wash this summer. Uh, allergies, you know. His, his not mine. Shut and, um, lost them. I need to know how to find. Um... Oh, You're great, man. We didn't miss it. <laughs> Excuse me, but uh, I, I still have this problem. Look, dude, we have our own problems. Hey, you're bugging the ladies, chum. You're out of here. <laughs> yeah, out of here. Um, you see, it's my uncle's car wash, and uh, you know he he used to be a wrestler. <laughs> Trying to scare me, man. Trying to scare Stanley, man. Uh, no, no. Put him down. He's only asking directions. So, you're in charge of a car wash all summer, huh? That's right. Um, if I can find it. You see, Uncle Elmer, he, he has these allergies. You did say in charge all summer, right? That's right. See, Uncle Elmer, he has to go to this, this clinic to cure his... Uh... Oh, I know where this car wash is. You do? Well, sure, but it's not down here. Oh. See, you gotta go back up to the boulevard. Uh-huh. You're gonna go over this big hill. Right. You're gonna just take your second light. You're gonna take a left. And it'll right. be right there on the corner. <sighs> Gee, this is really nice of you. <laughs> I wish there was some way I could show you my appreciation. Uh, Tammy Jo, uh, the California gumbo, please. Gumbo? The bag in your hand, Sully. Oh, uh, the California gumbo. Yes. <laughs> you see, John. Jack. Jack. <laughs> right. <laughs> You see, the girls and I, we're helping the Girl Scouts sell California gumbo, and it's only five dollars, and this is the last bag. Oh, say no more. Say no more. My pleasure. <laughs> you know, I, I used to be a Boy Scout back in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I knew that. <laughs> I'm Melissa Reese. Jack McGowan. Welcome to California, Jack. <laughs> well, I better get going. I was supposed to be at the car wash this morning, but the bus broke down. <laughs> say, you guys come on in get your car washed. It sure was a pleasure meeting you. All of you. Especially since my Aunt Cora says you can't trust anybody in California. <laughs> well, I'll see you all later. Now, don't, don't forget to come in and get your car washed. I told you things would turn around. And finally this morning, our very own district attorney, A.B. Quinn, kicked off his re-election bid yesterday urging all citizens to join him in his latest drive to rid our city of... smut. All right, it's coming up on 11 o'clock, and that's time to play... Name the Flasher! Who's the prefer in the pantyhose? You're on the air. Well, I think I know, in fact, I mean... Yes, yeah, yeah, Einstein. Now, by request from the valley, here's Fascination. Fascination. Hi, Uncle Elmer. Don't you my high arm from Elmer me. Where the hell you been? I'm sorry, Uncle Elmer, but the bus broke down. Uncle Elmer, in that van, I, I, I... Forget about the van. I gotta take you around. All right, this is Ralph. He doesn't talk very much, but uh, he used to be a wrestling referee. And, and this is Snuff. Thanks. He doesn't talk at all. If you need anything... <laughs> talk to Ralph. Oh, I'm sure we'll get along fine, won't we, Roger? It's Ralph. Believe me, Uncle Elmer, I'll do a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There ain't nothing to run in the car wash. All you do is... keep the account. <laughs> 
Put the money in the bank. Let the accountant pay the bill. And we got regular customers. It'll be all right. Jesus Christ, I gotta go. I'll see you, Uncle Elmer. Well, I guess as acting owner, I should say a few words. I think uh, what we need to do is... Uh, All right, that was Shake City doing Lust and Love. We're smack in the middle of a renegade rock all quest weekend. Hey, how about a dedication to the Flasher? He's out there somewhere and he needs love too. Now here's our top request, Miss High Society. My brother almost got me rating his deli for these dogs. <laughs> it almost caught Stanley, man. Yeah. Yeah, too bad they didn't, Stanley. You and the Flasher. Hey, don't flex, ladies. Rain Lady says this time tomorrow we'll be chomping steaks. Oh, <laughs> chomping steak, chicks. Really, Melissa? I like a big porterhouse. Got these hot dogs. You should see a chemical analysis on it. That'd really make you sick. Well, I got a foot long for you. How about a meat whistle? Pack over here. I do. Yeah. I didn't think you're gonna make it, cowboy. Sorry, I'm late, but. I got a call from Uncle Elmer. Bad news, I'm afraid. He's not coming back right away, is he? I mean, you are still gonna be in charge of the car wash all summer, aren't you? Oh, no, no, no. He'll he'll stay until he's cured. It's just that his, uh, his insurance won't cover his medical fees. I'm gonna have to increase the profits at the car wash. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be very good company tonight. You're just tense. Just take care of the problem and you'll be your old Idaho self again. Iowa. Come on, Jack. Let's take a walk. Nothing else. We'll just get to know each other. Well, come on. Hey. Later, dude. What? Oh, yeah. Later, dude. <laughs> See ya. Now, how does Melissa think that that stupid hick can help us get our vacation money back? Well, I asked Melissa, and she said that just because a pigeon isn't fluffy doesn't mean it can't be plucked. That's sick. Well, we plucked chickens once on my aunt's farm, but they didn't like it much. I like chicken better than these things. Even fish is better than this. You like fish? I can catch you some fish. You can? Take your top off. Your top? I need enough to catch some fish in, don't I? See, the problem is, Uncle Elmer only caters to regular customers, including a, a van full of strippers that come in every so often. I was talking to the uh, accountant, and he says that the income from the car wash won't cover the medical fees not handled by Uncle Elmer's insurance, which... I told you I wouldn't be very good company tonight. Maybe we'd better, uh... Go somewhere we can be alone? What? No, I was thinking of going... Come on. into my hideaway, sir. Uh, don't close the door just yet. Oh. I discovered a small ventilation problem here. Does 
you open the window here? Nice shack. <laughs> Thanks. I know what you use this place for. You do? <laughs> you know, Melissa, I'm not exactly dumb. Well, you this see, is where I you get this great idea. For the Girl Scouts. I can smell the licorice. Oh, right. Sure can't fool a kid from Illinois, can you? Iowa. Iowa, right. Sorry. Smells like strawberry, too. Smells good. <sighs> so do you. Well, thank you, Jack. Mm. No, no, no. Good. Bag six. Bag six. Hurry, hurry. Bag seven here. That was cool. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Things off. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go stretch those goodies. Oh no! Hello. Welcome. Well, Are you there? share partner. Oh. All right. Here's more music on Renegade Rock. You want Rock to uh, check the receipts? Jack, there's one thing I know about you is that you're absolutely honest. <laughs> Must be an Indianapolis trait. Iowa. You know, I don't think I've ever met anyone honest before. The marketing professor said that everybody was Well, counted. maybe your marketing professor's wrong. I doubt it. You're definitely the exception, Jack. You want to get some dinner? Oh, I don't think so, Jack. Not tonight. I'm really tired, and I've got a couple new ideas I want to work on. God, your mind never stops, does it? I just thought maybe, you know, you could use a break and, uh... And... Uh, <laughs> never mind. What are you trying to say, Jack? Well, I just thought maybe we could um, pick up at the shack where we left off. That's probably really inconsiderate of me. I'm sorry. I mean, here you are working your butt off for me, and I'm making a cheap pass. I'm sorry it'll never happen again. Come on, I'll, uh, I'll walk you out. Wait, Jack. Don't stop making passes, Jack. I'm young. I won't be tired forever. Okay. I don't think I could if I tried. Come on. I'll take you out. Stall him, Jack. I'm gonna go call Bobby Canova. She's that lawyer I told you about. Are you the owner? Well, yeah. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? How can you sort of be in charge? Well, yes, I I'm definitely in charge for all practical purposes. Uh, see, the place actually belongs to my uncle. Uh, he's got allergies. And he left me in charge. W what can I do for you? You can shut this place down immediately by orders of Donovan Drake, assistant district attorney. That's me. Glad to meet you. Do you mean like in closing up? I mean, I'm running a business here. An illegal business, sir. What's illegal? What am I doing that's illegal? Tell him, Sarge. Then you'll be right over? Oh, thank you, Bobby. Bye. There's been at least 42 fender benders out in front of this place in the last week. And one of them was a fire engine. A fire engine? Yes, sir. Seems that there's some naked broad out in the street waving people in here. Naked? She was not. She's wearing a bikini. Just like every other girl in this town wears all summer. The report says naked. Nobody's arresting anybody. Thanks for getting here so fast, Bobby. 
Well, Mr. Donovan Drake, Boy Wonder Assistant DA. Really? Miss Canova. That's Ms. M S. Period. Don't give me that miss shit because I don't miss anything, and don't you forget it. Do you have a reason for being here, Miss? I mean, Ms. Canova. Fair question. I represent this establishment. I am legal counsel for. Who do I represent? What's your name, kid? Uh, Jack. Jack McCowan. Good Irish name. It's actually Scottish. I represent Jack McCowan. Now, why was the bulldog here about to make an arrest? Well, the broad was naked. Naked? I assume that's some moronic derivative of nude. Well, she didn't. Uh, I mean, everybody saw him. Everybody saw what? Well, you know, her. Well, her hooters. Her breasts. Her breasts were exposed totally. Could either of you describe these breasts? Well, sure. Yeah, they yeah, were they were, standing they were up bouncing and, and saluting and, and pointing. Now, let me get there. this straight. Junior indicates that he saw. A D. Well, you, Sergeant, saw at least an yeah. F. Were you both imagining these breasts? And if they were exposed, could it be that they were exposed by accident? Like your open fly. <laughs> it is not. No. But if it were, would Sergeant Sutton have arrested you for indecent exposure? This is a place of business. Did she charge you for looking at her breasts? No. I'm... Why would she charge? I think that's enough about the alleged nakedness. Now let me see your court order. I don't need a court order. The city code specifically states that when a place of business, such as a brothel, has flagrantly Whoa, violated Whoa, counselor! Are you accusing Jim here of running it? Jack. Sorry. Are you accusing Jack of running a whorehouse? No. Not exactly. Not exactly. Not... Well, what you just said could exactly allow us to sue you personally as well as the city and A.B. Quinn. But he caused a bunch of traffic accidents. The flasher! Let's pound that piss that big fool. Let's pound the piss that. Shit, we lost him. Yeah, we lost him. <laughs> yeah, pup. Sorry. I ain't your damn pup. Give me that thing. Get your hands off me. That's borderline battery now. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's where your attention should be. But instead, you're harassing these college students who are trying to earn vacation money to cure the allergies of this young man's aunt. It's, uh, it's my uncle. Uncle, that's right. Is this any way to treat a visitor on a mercy mission? Hey, hey, I'm not trying to stop any mercy mission. Now you and your bulldog get out of here and don't come back without a court order. Who the hell are you up there? Beat Jeff. This isn't the end of your troubles, so cool it with the nakedness until I can talk to the judge. We will, Bobby. Thanks. Thanks. This Jim's a cute one. It's, uh, it's Jack. Jack. Whatever. You fucked up again, kid. Come on, Ralph. It's all over. Over my ass. Oh, uh, you lazy bum, you... Never mind. It doesn't matter, Jack. Melissa, don't listen to him. It's probably brain damage for being a wrestling referee. Whatever it is, you may be right. What? Come on, you heard Bobby. Bobby might turn this into a political circus, Jack. I just can't do this to you. And to your uncle. Let's just get the girls out of here. Melissa... You and the girls are the best thing that ever happened in my uncle's car wash. 
Now I'm going to be gone for a spell. You stay put. Owen, oh, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Miss Winslow? Amy Winslow? Wow, you're that beautiful girl. I mean, you're the young lady that works at the Sunshine Car Wash. So, uh, you have pertinent information for me? Not really. I just wanted to apologize for all the horrible things that everybody said yesterday and all them throwing stuff. See, I'm a political science major. I want to do what you do when I get out of school. I know you were just doing your job. What you girls are doing, it's wrong. Oh, I disagree. But that's what makes a democracy, right? Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Miss Winslow, uh, Amy, maybe we could discuss our differences. Have you had dinner yet? I'd much prefer a barefoot walk along the beach. Uh, I can handle that. So, you're, you're going into law. Amy, looks great. This doesn't suck. We ought to bring my ex-boyfriend over here because he sure does suck. You pop that sucker loose or what? Sure gonna try. Well, um, hurry up, okay? No, I know. I'm sorry, Foxy, the vacuum screwed up, but Amy's working on it. The girl's gotta go on real soon, and the owner of the old folks' home gets real pissed if we show up late and in a dirty van. Jimmy like Joe, telephone! Shit, you're awful busy, ain't you? To keep this up, I'm gonna have to find another car wash. It's only for the summer. Let me go see what Amy's doing. The entire evening with Mr. District Attorney himself, my shit don't stink, A.B. Quinn, and Judge Hawthorne. Uh -huh. so, well, Quinn really pushed for a court order, but I finally convinced the judge to come and see your place before any court order is issued. He should be here any minute. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. The sight of exposed flesh is not going to affect the judge. He tries to hide it by dragging along this pretty little wife of his. The problem is, the poor thing's impotent. <laughs> Word down at City Hall is that he hasn't gotten it up in about 20 years. <laughs> Judge! Come on, up to the front of the line. Okay, smile pretty. Must be nice. Let's go. Jack, want to take that? Get me, bud. Judge Hawthorne. This is uh, Melissa Reese and Jack McGowan. How do you do? Holy shit! It's Judge Hawthorne! If he catches us, we're going to have to do 30 days in the slammer. Quick, girls, we got to hide. Judge Hawthorne, Melissa Reese, and Jack McGowan. How do you do? Irish. Uh, actually, it's... Uh... It's really great that you could make it today, Your Honor. I'll shut up the power. Get it, Canova. But, Judge, accidents happen. Not when they make my wife naked, damn but it. Judge! This place is history, Canova. Hey, Foxy, who's that important-looking guy over there? You shitting me? That's the city's number one asshole, District Attorney A.B. Quinn himself. So, what does that mean? That's the fuckhead who shut us down! Everybody, including you, is going to go to jail just as soon as I see A.B. Quinn. A.B. I'm terribly sorry, Your Honor, but if you'd listen to me in the first Save place... Save the I told you so, A.B. Sorry, sorry I'm late, but uh, somebody was looking at the naked broad out in front of this place and smacked right in the back of my car. Flat total, that son of a gun. Well, by the time I got it pushed over to the curb, the perpetrating car and the naked broad were both gone. Well, then I tried to flag down a tow Just truck. Just shut up, Sergeant. 
Nobody gives a damn about your stupid police car. Now, this is important, A.B. I'm issuing you an oral court order. I want this place closed down now. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Point of order. In order to be official, a court order must be in writing and given to the property owner. Ms. Canova, you are in contempt. In contempt of what? Car wash? Excuse me. Mr. Quinn, sir. Wouldn't you like something to do? Yes. Oh, ah. Ew. Oh, Hawthorne, you laugh about this. Freedom for speed, but I need you. Freedom for brain for fight. I'll laugh about this when you people are in jail. All right, all right, all right, all right. My God, they're not going to let a gorilla out of the zoo. Hey, kid, I never saw so many customers in all my life. You got the power off. What, are you crazy? Go put the power on now. Okay, Don't you do anything of the kind, son. You just stay right here. Who the hell are you telling someone to do something in my car? I, sir, am Judge Oh, 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 I'm Judge the broad. This, sir, is my wife. Ah, oh, well, she's a very attractive lady. You got good taste in women there. Yes, I'm just beginning to notice that myself. You yeah, judge, if, uh, if I had a wife like this, I wouldn't be hanging around no car wash. I, I'd have a bit of things to do, you know what I mean? We'll never make it to the old folks' home on time. Oh, no. It can't be helped, guys. We gotta stay here till they leave. Oh. Damn it. Cheap, tacky outfits. Donovan, get away from that. Donovan! Hey, Donovan, get away from that. That girl. Sergeant, close this place down now. Disperse that crowd. Move, people. I know who the flasher is. I thought so, and when I saw his. Well. Well, grab him! What? You're not pointing at me. Not you. Your, your boss. The DA himself. He's the flasher. You see, I took these pictures of the flasher. Then I hid in the men's room when Sonny deliberately spilled that drink on him. And when he had his pants down, I got him. Preposterous. Oh. <laughs> it's worse than that. If you don't want to face criminal charges, you'll give me those pictures. But, and sir, you... You do look surprisingly like... Good God. You are the Flasher. Uh, we... I I caught the Flasher. Yes, sir. That pimple on your... That must have been what scared everybody. Certainly couldn't have been the size. But, but sir, tell me, what made you do it? Don't look at me that way. You have no right to judge me. They have it coming running around town all summer, exposing <laughs> themselves, showing everything. No, oh, that disgusting firm flesh. I was just giving back to them what they gave to everyone else. There's nothing more disgusting than a naked female body. My mother used to run around the house all day naked, and I, I, I hated my mother! Get away from me! there now, Foxy. They caught the flasher. And it's none other than the D.A. himself. Surfer kid at the other end of the tunnel. He's got to be around here somewhere. Come on, let's go! Hey, 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 hey. 